Welcome to Medical Dialogues or Daily Dose of Health and Medical News. I'm Roshni Dhar. Let's look at today's top headlines. In Ahmedabad, Medico kills self within 24 hours of getting PG admission. A medical student who had got admission to the MD medicine course at BG Medical College on Saturday allegedly committed suicide, officers of Ahmedabad rural police said. The student, Rayani, allegedly committed suicide within 24 hours of getting admission to the medicine course at BG Medical College on the Asarwa Civil Hospital campus. He had got admission on Saturday and attended duty in an emergency ward. On Monday morning, he was reported missing. After Rayani went missing, an application of complaint for a missing person was registered at Shahibagh police station in the city. Ahmedabad ruler SP Virendra Yadav said a case of accidental death has been registered with Dholka rural police. A Dholka rural police officer said villagers on Tuesday saw Riyani scooter near the pond in Sage village and informed the police. When cops were trying to find the scooter owner, some villagers spotted Riyani's body floating in the pond. A police officer said that neither a suicide note nor his mobile phone was found on the body. We only found his college identity card through which we intimidated his classmates, said the police officer. Atal Bihari Vajpayee Medical College gets final approval admissions to start this year. Two and a half years after the Pune Municipal Corporation approved its first medical college, Atal Bihari Vajpayee Medical College, the much-awaited final approval came on Monday. The PMC will now begin MBBS admissions this year. The course will have 100 seats. With this, PMC becomes one of the few civic bodies to have its own medical college. Treatment length for children with tuberculosis now reduced. A recent UCL-led international trial that explored tuberculosis treatment effectiveness in children has led to a change in the World Health Organization global guidelines for managing the disease. The research published in the New England Journal of Medicine found that the treatment duration for the majority of children with drug-sensitive tuberculosis can be shortened from 6 to 4 months, thereby reducing the burden on families and healthcare systems around the world. Fears in Russia over pharmaceutical supplies. Moscow, Russia is running low on insulin and other important medical supplies produced abroad. The concerns comes after a wave of Western sanctions over conflict in Ukraine began battering the Russian economy and dozens of major Western brands announced their departure from the market. The federal medical regulator Ross Davnitzor and the National Associ Association of Pharmacies attributed insulin shortages to urgent consumer demand. Saftarjung Hospital launches advanced dialysis facilities. The nephrology department of Saftarjung Hospital has started using hemodryer filtration machines for better purification of kidneys during dialysis. For this, a new unit has been set up with two machines to cater to dialysis patients. Till date, only AIMS had such machines among government-run facilities. Saftarjung will become the second government hospital in Delhi to offer this facility. That's all for today. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.